Hey Don, congratulations on your new Heritage Glen camper. My name's Steve from Lakeshore RV. I'm going to do the video orientation on it and I look forward to seeing you guys come here in a couple days. I'm going to walk through and show you the basic operation of it and of course if you have any questions uh, while you're using it or while you're here feel free to ask and I'm always available uh, on my cell 231-736-9162. Let's get started. All right, I like to start right here at the entrance. You see the steps right here? When the steps are coming up or down, you wanna make sure the door is all the way open. That way you're gonna have enough clearance right here because you can see the wings on both sides, how they uh, fold up into the door frame. So make sure the door is all the way open when you're bringing the steps up or down. As we move along here, guys, you see the outside speakers right here. You have the awning, two awnings on this one on the slide out, one over the entrance. As we come forward here, you can see the extend retract button. That is gonna be for the front um, stabilizer jacks. Your pass-through storage right here, guys. Turn the light on for you. You have your power cord right here. And then also um, jacks to manually crank in case the, uh, the motor goes out on this. You can manually crank the jacks up or down. And same with the tongue jack. This is a power tongue jack to get it on and off of the vehicle here. Um, simple button operation right here. And then at the top, you can um, take one of the wrenches and manually bring that up and down. Uh, batteries right back here. And then you have your two 20 pound tanks right up front for propane and those are going to be full as we come around to the side here it's going to be the other part of the pass-through storage nice thing about this it has a magnet right here move towards the back here guys you can notice right here this is going to be the exhaust this is your hot water tank right here so when the hot water is running just make sure you don't have anything leaning up against it this will get awfully uh, warm City water connection uh, right here, and then a fresh water connection to fill the tank. And then also below, this is gonna be for the black tank flush to flush out the uh, sewer tank. One thing, uh, if you're gonna hook a hose up to this, make sure, and you see right here, the guys are just going through and cleaning the, uh, the drains one last time, where it says black, it's the big valve back there, the bigger outlet. You wanna make sure that valve is pulled all the way open before you turn on the water here because what will happen is if you're gonna flush out the tank and you don't open the valve, that tank will uh, back up and then just overflow, unfortunately, through the toilet there. Um, next to that, this is gonna be your exhaust for the furnace. And again, if the furnace is going, make sure you don't have anything close to it that it gets extremely hot. And then just above that is gonna be your outside shower. As we come along towards the back, of the camper here you can see this is where we're going to plug in our power cord right here this is detachable plugs in just like so and then off the back you have your spare tire on the bumper and then also they had put on uh, just a little two inch receiver if you want to put like maybe a little bike rack or bumper buddy uh, back there you can go ahead and do that if you're at a park that has cable you can hook up right here. This will go into the different um, spots for the TVs and then satellite hookup would be right there if you happen to have a satellite dish that you're gonna hook up to the camper. And then on the back side here, again, extend retract, that's gonna be for the rear stabilizer jacks on the coach here. Moving to the side where it says park cable, this is actually coming out. So if you wanna put a TV out here, you do have a power outlet and then a cable outlet as well. Uh, to hook up and this would actually be a uh, mounting bracket for a tv if you want to do that so let's go to the inside of the coach and you'll see right straight away from the door here is going to be your control center this is where you're going to operate your awnings and your slide outs your water pump right here your um, water heater is going to be right here tank heater which is going to be for the uh uh, heat pads on the tanks and then the different lights inside here to check the contents of the tanks simply just push right here and it will show you batteries full blacks gray are all empty and then fresh water is empty as well but that's going to be your main control center right there as we come into the living area your lights right here see just a little push button to turn those off and on 
the um, theater seats. These are going to recline. See right here, there's a handle to pull that to recline it. And then at the back here is going to be a hide-a-bed sofa. This will make out into a bed. And you can see just right alongside, you're going to have outlets as well as USB ports on both sides of the sofa. Your Jensen TV is in the entertainment center there along with the Jensen stereo. And that is a AM, FM, CD, DVD player. Also has Bluetooth capability. And like I showed you, the speakers outside, you do have speakers inside as well. You can see the two uh, on the right and left of the stereo. Below that is going to be the electric fireplace. And that does actually put out heat. So a um, little bit more than just uh, uh, decorative. It is functioning as far as putting out heat. Next to that is going to be your three burner stovetop that is going to be operated right here. Has a spark ignition, much like you'd have on a grill. Underneath is going to be for the oven, and that is going to be uh, right there. Microwave is just like what you have at the house. Um, nothing um, different about that except for the size. It's going to be a little bit smaller. Uh, travel lock right here. This is to open up the fridge. And fridge is on. This is 12 volt. This runs right off the battery or when you're plugged in it will you have a converter down here and what this will do is it will take the shore power the AC power convert it to the 12 volt power so your fridge is always going to run. So you can see your breakers right here as well as your 12, um, 12 volt fuses and those are all labeled right there. So if you have something that's not working first place to check is going to be your fuses as well as your breakers. Right here, this is the uh, thermostat to operate the AC for the back and then also for the um, heat. The bottom button here is going to be the mode to turn it on. So we're going to cool, heat, and then back to off. Now on the bathroom, right here, this is going to be the commode. It has a foot flush on it. So to empty, just simply push down right there. And then one thing to show you in here, this does have a GFI outlet. So if that outlet's not working or you have other outlets that aren't working, go ahead and check and make sure that's not tripped. If that trips, it might take a couple other outlets out with it. And then up into the bedroom, guys, you have right here is going to be for more storage in the um, closet area and then storage along the front and the side here and then also the bed right here you have storage underneath uh, right there trying to do it with one hand so guys i know that's kind of a quick show through and i will definitely show you more when you get here uh just to give you a preview and then if you have questions feel free to, to always ask and like i said as you're using it if you have questions give me a call 231-736-9162 look forward to seeing you soon and congratulations on your new camper